we go to the land of Japan. Home of the infamous weeb. Surrounded and haunted by many spirits who live among the living. That, and it is the subject of many memes, because the island keeps getting attacked by kaiju. So onward to the island of Japan. Now where in Japan are we headed off to? A simple district in Tokyo called Taito Ward where the first reigning queen herself ruled. Her name is Aya Kamakawa. This powerful woman was born in 1968, January 25th to be exact, and has attended Hosei University Secondary High School, which ironically enough, for those of you who are living in the country right now, is an all-boys school. In 1990, she graduated from Hosei University with a degree of business administration. An admirable start. And began working in public relations for a charitable organization whilst presenting as a male. In 1995, she resigned her post due to stresses from the fact that she was presenting herself as a male. But of course, in that same year, she started her transitioning. I like to mention but because of the way the laws work currently in Japan, in order to gain proper recognition, Mrs. Ayakawa needed to be diagnosed with gender identity disorder. With that, she had to begin a sterilization process. What does that mean? Meaning, any person who is deemed either transgender female or transgender male must go through a sterilization process which basically means forced inability to procreate. Yeah, that's right. The woman's eggs are burnt to a cinder and the man's sperm is It's a little bit sickening. In 1999, of course, Miss Aya was employed as a female staff member for a private firm and legally changed her first name to Aya. In 2001, she became a member of the Transnet Japan where our meetings were held to raise awareness of transgenders lurking in the shadows. Of course, they weren't really lurking. They were there the entire time. 2003, she submitted an election application for the Setagaya Ward. Wow, straight off the bat. Which, ironically enough, is the most populous part of Tokyo. The most populous ward. 
And she was placed six out of 72 candidates for the 52 seats that were vacant. She Boston. Her term unfortunately lasted only four years. Her platform included not only LGBT rights, but also she advocated for the rights of women, the children, the elderly, and the handicapped. 2005, with IS help, the GID law was passed that allowed transgender individuals to change their status on their koseki, or in layman's terms, her national registry, or birth certificate. Her reign as the only transgender individual to serve in public office was undoubtedly overthrown, as in 2017, a transgender male by the name of Tomoya Osoda was elected for this position. In an interview that I found in an article, she once stated that, and I will paraphrase about here, Japan is a fickle bunch of people. While yes, Japan does have insane fetishes and lonely men who are also shut-ins like L from Death Note. They are still, even though they are viewed as that, they are the most traditional conservative and modest individuals than any other country in the entire world. In other words, what goes on in the house stays there and has little impact on society. I challenge America and even Australia to try something like that. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little segment as we continue around the world to find other transgenders. Requiescat in pace, my lovelies.